August 18th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Psalms chapters 92 and 93 from the Old Testament It is fitting to thank the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Sovereign One. It is fitting to proclaim your loyal love in the morning and your faithfulness during the night to the accompaniment of a ten-stringed instrument and a lyre to the accompaniment of the meditative tone of the harp. For you, O Lord, have made me happy by your work. I will sing for joy because of what you have done. How great are your works, O Lord! Your plans are very intricate. The spiritually insensitive do not recognize this. The fool does not understand this. When the wicked sprout up like grass and all the evildoers glisten, it is so that they may be annihilated. But you, O Lord, reign forever. Indeed, look at your enemies, O Lord. Indeed, look at how your enemies perish. All the evildoers are scattered. You exalt my horn like that of a wild ox. I am covered with fresh oil. I gloat and triumph over those who tried to ambush me. I hear the defeated cries of the evil foes who attack me. The godly grow like a palm tree. They grow high like a cedar in Lebanon. Planted in the Lord's house, they grow in the courts of our God. They bear fruit even when they are old. They are filled with vitality and have many leaves. So they proclaim that the Lord, my protector, is just and never unfair. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He wears strength around his waist. Indeed, the world is established. It cannot be moved. Your throne has been secure from ancient times. You have always been king. The waves roar, O Lord, the waves roar, the waves roar and crash. Above the sound of the surging water and the mighty waves of the sea, the Lord sits enthroned in majesty. The rules you set down are completely reliable. Holiness aptly adorns your house, O Lord, forever. God, I just read a, uh, a story coming out of Colorado where the neighbors are fighting this family who has a daughter in a wheelchair. I can't remember what her handicap is, but she needs a wheelchair to get in and out of the house, and they built her a wheelchair ramp so that she could easily come in and out of the house. And the neighbors are threatening legal action. <laughs> threatening legal action because they're worried it's going to bring their property values down. And there's stories upon stories upon stories like this that just break my heart. I can't even imagine what it's doing to yours, but they, they break my heart because they're so worldly, so consumed with the things of this world, not even for a moment thinking of anyone else but themselves. And God, part of these Psalms, especially 92, talk a little bit about this to not get caught up in the worldly things and it's so easy to it's so easy to get caught up in the pain and the hurt and the frustration and the anger and the jealousy it's so easy to get caught up in the worldly things but the psalmist is talking about worship it's actually talking about the sabbath talking about worshiping you and understanding that no matter what happens here no matter what happens here in a worldly sense that you will protect us, that we have something else to look forward to, not just death, not just blackness in a, in a box once our lives die, our lives here die away, but this eternal life with you. And God, I just pray today for everyone who's going through a hard time, whether people are causing frustrations for them or grief, or situations are causing agitation and worry, God, I just ask that they remember who's in charge, that you are sovereign over everything and you know everything that is going on, every little tiny detail of our lives, you know what is going on, the good and the bad, well, our version of good and bad. And you're not only in control, but you want what is best for us out of those situations. And God, I just ask for peace for them not from those situations but peace in their life so that if it's your will that those situations are in their life for whatever reason that they can deal with them from a right perspective that in this situation these neighbors should have been over there helping them build the ramp 
asking if they can help with any other thing that that family needs. Taking their mind off the fact of these worldly things that it's going to bring, possibly, their property values down. How incredibly sad. But yet we get caught up in our day in and day out things as well. That one's pretty dramatic and very worldly. But we get caught up in things. Maybe it's a past due bill. Maybe it's a pink slip from work. Maybe it's a relationship not going the right way. Our version of not the right way. Maybe our children are acting up. Maybe somebody at work is making our life really awful. And God, I just want to reassure everyone through your comfort that you are always with us. And this life is short. This life will pass on. All of these things that seem so incredibly important in this life will never ever be ever again. <laughs> Building a, a wheelchair ramp is important for that family right now to help their daughter in this life. But you are our true help, our true provider, our true protector. Help us always, God, throughout today and throughout the rest of our lives to keep our eyes on what is eternal, what is good, what is going to bear fruit, and what is it going to be like to get to spend eternity with you. God, I do pray for these neighbors. I pray for their dark, worldly hearts. I pray that this family doesn't have to go through legal trouble because of these other people. But if they do, I know that you'll be there to protect them and to watch over them and to help guide them. God, I just pray your will for everyone in this world. And I pray for your will in my walk today that I can do the things that you've called me to do while I am here on earth, not to be of this world, but to help your kingdom while I'm here on this world. Thank you, God. In your son's name I pray, amen.